and welcome back. We hope that you're all ready uh, for work. I hope the kids are in uniform, little lunch bags ready, and uh, you're going to head out the door soon. Well, this morning, you're going to be traveling on the roads of Barbados, and we want to talk a little about the roads of Barbados. Next week, um, the CBC Morning Barbados will be premiering a new uh, road safety campaign, and um, a little later on this morning, we're going to we're going to put together some of the highlights and the details to present to you. But in the interim, we have the PRO of the Barbados Road Safety Association, Richard Cox. And, and it's just coincidental that the Road Safety Association is launching a campaign to educate young drivers. Well, what's, what's the challenge, Mr. Cox? Well, let me tell you the problem. Mm -hmm. The problem is the number of accidents involving teenagers. Well, stick a pin. Mm -hmm. Teenage, teenagers will say, you always pick on us. How do we know it's teenagers and what do the numbers suggest? The numbers suggest that the problem lies in teenage drivers. Notice when these serious accidents are occurring. For their morning, when the older drivers are asleep. <laughs> 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 so, what we are trying to do is to introduce a uh, system whereby the driver holds the license for about three years but with restrictions example he would not be able to go out at night um, to parties with the car full of youngsters except an adult be present is this an age restriction or is a restriction on the on the uh, is based on experience yes it's all to do with experience yeah but you can have a 16 year old driver mm -hmm. uh, restricted or you can have a 25 or 30 year old first time driver how uh, you know how do you address that well we were all boys I don't know about Lisa. <laughs> no, speaking to you, I haven't looked in Lisa's direction. And you know that, but that placing a, a license, a driving license, mm -hmm. you can't vote at 16. Mm -hmm. But to place a license in the hands of a 16 year old, the first thing is going to do is to call up, oh, uh, Edward, come. We're going to see how fast mom's car is going to go. All right, we're going to a party tonight, and they're full of boys and girls in the car. We're not trying to stop teenagers from obtaining a license. To the contrary, we believe that persons leaving school should hold a driving license. Suppose the first job that you get involves driving. So many persons say to me, oh, but Mr. Cox, look, this will stop the number of persons coming to take the driving test, teenagers. That is not so. I believe that more persons would come. Why? Parents say to me, Mr. Cox, look, I'll be glad to send Johnny to learn to drive. I want him to learn to drive, but I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. If that dad knows that there is some restriction by law as to how that young man operates after he gets his license, he knows he has three years, he knows he will be ordered to take the driving test again, if he continues to get into trouble and uh, things like that. A sort of a demerit, demerit point system. But why legislate? I mean, when, when perhaps you can educate, um, why, why can't it be part of the process in school? You know, in, in, in the third, fourth, and fifth form, you, you bring him along. My nine year old wants to drive, and he's only nine. He, can, he can't reach the pedal or anything, he can't even see over the steering wheel. Right. But he wants to drive, he can't wait until they become 16. Uh, perhaps we should be preparing, preparing them through education in schools or, or some form of formal education that would prepare them for, for the experience at 16 rather than legislate. The Barbados Road Safety Association is doing just that. I travel to schools around the country talking about road safety, asking children to show me the hand signals what on the bike, what they should use, what the bicycle must have, and almost, for a start, every class I go into, 
three quarters own bikes. Who owns who 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 own bikes? Put your hand up. And everybody put their hand up. But nobody has taught that child how to use the road, and that is the job the, uh, the Barbados Road Safety is doing, trying to educate. But remember, we do not get any official help. The Barbados Road Safety Association depends on um, gifts from the public to stay afloat. But yes, education is very important. In this particular drive, do you have um, any other plans outside of the one requiring uh, an adult to be in the car with a, a teenager? Do you have any other plans, um, you know, in an effort to cut down on the, this high number of young people getting into accidents? No drinking at all by the person responsible for the car. No alcohol. I know the breathalyzer is not here yet, but this is going to be, we hope, this to be one of the restrictions. Speeds, 60 kilometers an hour, regardless of what road you're on in Barbados. Yes, we have a number of restrictions to make sure that the teenage you take this driving license seriously. If you continue to get in an accident, as I said just now, you continue to cause problems, then we order you to take the driving test again. And I, I understand that the magistrate already has that power if, you, if he or she wants to use it. But have people been, a, been ordered to take the driving test once they've been found to have infringed the law continuously? We don't know of any cases. Mm. But what I'm saying is that I'm told that the courts already is in possession of uh, this power. So it needs to be enforced? Yes. Mm. I can tell you that in a certain country overseas, and you have a serious accident, teenager or no teenager, then the court has the power and they use it to order you to take the driving test again. How, how effective is something like that? Um, having to take a driver's test again, you go in, you take the test, it, yeah. it shows that you have the knowledge to use the road, right. but going forward, how effective is it? Well, the driving test, on passing the driving test, you now have, you now have permission to use the road. But if your standard of driving has fallen to such a law where you are killing and maiming people then, like in, let's say Britain, come straight and tell you that if you continue to have accidents, the magistrate will say, all right, give me that driving license. When you take the driving test, come back for it again, back to the driving school. But it's interesting because I know, I, I know of a gentleman who just turned 90 and got his license renewed right here in Barbados. Um, whereas in the in the United States, for example, when you reach a certain age, you have to be tested every year to get to get your license renewed. Um, why why um, we don't have a similar system here? Let me tell you that I've just turned seventy, mm -hmm. and I have just had my license renewed. Did you have to take a test? No, but I had to take a full medical to prove that I'm still a fit and proper person to hold that driving license. Mm -hmm. The retests, yes, we do believe that. If seniors are prove, if we can prove that seniors no longer carry the skill to drive on the road, then a retest should take place. Yeah. The drive by the Road Safety Association is to educate um, younger people about the rules of the road and in fact my term penalize them you know, for, for bad dri driving habits. Again, young people because of their age they're subjected, lady and gentlemen, to, to harsh penalties. Insurance for example, you know the, the insurance of a 19 year old is God, it's ridiculous compared to the insurance of a 70-year-old man. Um, aren't you putting an additional pressure on, on these young people? First, I want to say good morning, Barbados. Um, yes. Um, the grad what we are looking at, um, teen, young teen drivers, they are a high-risk category when it comes to driving on the road. Because of their inexperience and immaturity, there's a lot of risk factors out there involved with insuring these persons. Um, at that age, you know, these young people tend to be, they tend to overestimate their ability to drive safely 
and underestimate the dangers that are out there on the road. But isn't so, this prevalent with all first-time drivers and not just teen drivers? No, age has a lot to do with it. Because of that age, you know, like 16, 17, they're immature. Right? We tend to look at that age as um, a young adult. But when you really look at it, they're only big children, you know, when you're 16. And, if, and putting a driver's license, a full driver's license, in their hands at that age, I mean, it, it's very dangerous. At that age, they're not mature enough to make the decisions the, um, to be out there to, um, safe, to use the road safely. At a 16-year-old, we don't even put, you know, they, they're not allowed to sign an X for a party. They can't vote until they're 18. Why would we put a vehicle that could be a dangerous weapon if in the wrong hands, you know, for them uh, to go out there and have a full license and have all the privileges like us, you know, older people? Um, if they sign the 